We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Good morning friends, today we are going to solve the problem of pentagon plane. Okay. Let's see the question. Here in question given that a regular pentagon ABCDE of 35 mm side has its side AB in VP. Okay, so plane is resting in VP. So I write down here first stage is for VP, second stage for phi and third stage for theta. Okay, VP and inclined at an angle of 50 degree to HP. So theta is equal to 50 degree. The corner A is 20 mm above HP. He solved many problem in earlier lecture, but in any problem that the condition 40 point is not given. Okay, but in this problem, the condition 40 position of point A is given that the point A is 20 mm above the HP. Okay, so we take care about this condition when we throw the true shape of the plane. Okay, now the corner d is 40 mm in front of vp okay corner d is 40 mm in front of vp point a is 20 mm above hp and point d is 40 mm in front of vp okay draw the projection and find the inclination angle with vp so we require to find the angle phi okay so let's start with the first stage first i draw the reference line at here Here plane ABCD is resting in vertical plane. Okay, so we draw the pentagon on vertical plane and is resting on side AB. Okay, so we draw the side AB on left hand side and point A is 20 mm above HP. Okay, so first I draw one line which is parallel to the reference line and at a distance of 20 mm from the reference line. Okay, it is the locus for point A. Okay, now I mark my point A at here. Side is resting on side AB. Okay, so at here I take a dash point. Now I draw side of. Okay, so here I get my point B dash. Okay, now I draw the pentagon at here. Okay, I explain the method to how to draw the pentagon in third lecture. I give the name A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and E dash. Okay. So I complete my front view at here. Now for drawing the top view, I just simply take the projection from here. Okay. So here I get my point A, B. Here I get my point C, E. And at here I get my point D okay if I seen from the top then point A and E are hidden point okay so this line give me the top view for the first stage now in second stage the angle phi is not given okay but here one condition is given that the corner D is 40 mm in front of VP. Okay. So from reference line I measure the distance 40 mm. 
and draw one parallel line from here okay so this line this distance is 40 mm and this distance is 20 mm okay so i get my point d on this line okay so first i mark point a b at here now i take this distance a to d okay i take a as the center and draw one arc which intersect this reference line at here okay because i get my point d on this locus okay this is the locus for point d okay so i get my d point at here okay so for point d i have two condition okay i get the point d on this line and distance of point d from d point a is equal to this much okay so i take a d as a radius and a as a center i draw one arc which intersect this locus at here okay so here i get my point d okay now i draw one line at here now for getting the point c and e i take c d as a radius and d as a center i draw one arc which intersected here so here i get my point c and e i explain again here for the point d condition is given that the point d is 40 mm in front of vp so from the reference line i measure distance 40 mm and draw locus for point d okay now first i mark point a and b at here okay now i know the distance between a and d so i take a d as a radius and a as the center draw one arc which intersect the locus of d so here i get my point d okay so in this way i complete the top view for the second stage and if i measure this angle phi then phi is equal to 45 degree okay is equal to 45 degrees okay that asking question to find the inclination okay now for drawing the front view i just simply take the projection for point a i take the projection from here and from here so here i get my point a this now for point b this i take the projection from here and from here so here I get my point B this now for point C this I take the projection from here and from here so here I get my point C this now for point D this I take the projection from here and from here so here I get my point D dash now for point E dash I take the projection from here and from here so here I get my point E dash okay so after joining this point A dash B dash b dash c dash c dash d dash d dash e dash and e dash a dash okay i complete the front view for the second stage okay let's come to the third stage okay in third stage given that the side a b inclined at angle of 50 degree with the horizontal plane okay so we draw this angle on vertical plane okay so first i check that the length of the side a b is constant or not in both stage okay here a b is equal to 35 mm here a b is equal to 35 mm. okay so its length is constant okay so we not required to find the apparent angle okay so first i just simply draw one line at angle of 50 degree Okay, I require to draw this pentagon at here. Okay, so I use the rectangle method. 
for side row one rectangle at here okay give the name one two three four now when i draw the front view for the third stage i take care about the condition that the point a is 20 mm above sp okay so first i mark point a dash at here okay on this locus of point a dash now i mark the point b dash at a distance of 35 mm from point a dash okay so at here i get my point b dash okay now i draw the rectangle this rectangle at here now i measure the distance 2 to a okay now from i take a as a center and draw one arc at here and b as a center i draw one arc at here okay so here i get my point 2 and at here i get my point 1 okay now for getting point 3 and 4 i draw two perpendicular line one from point 1 and second from point 2 now for drawing the point 3 and 4 i take 2 to 3 as a radius 2 as a center and draw one arc at here now i take 1 as a center and draw one arc at here ok so here i get my point 3 and at here i get my point 4 ok so after joining point 3 and 4 i get my rectangle now for point e, e dash and c dash i take e dash 2 as a radius okay now i take 2 as a center and draw one arc at here now i take one as a center and draw one arc at here okay so here i get my point c dash and at here i get my point e dash okay now for point d dash i measure the distance 3d dash okay now i take 3 as a center and draw one arc at here so here I get my point D dash okay so I get all five points of pentagon now I just simply connect B dash C dash C dash D dash D dash E dash E dash A dash okay so in this way I complete the front view for the third stage now for top view I just simply take the projection okay I start with the point A for point a i take the projection from here and from here so here i get my point a okay now for point b i take the projection from here and from here so here i get my point b now for point c I take the projection from here and from here from here so intersection of these two lines give me the point C at here okay now for point D I take the projection from here and from here okay here point D is 40 m in front of VP okay so its distance from reference line is 40 m now for getting the point E I take the projection from here and from here so here I get my point E okay so after joining this point A B B C C D D E and E A okay I get the top view for the third stage okay so before ending I just check that the point a and b is on reference line or not because plane is resting on side a b okay here in first stage point a and b on reference line in second stage point a and b on reference line and in third stage point a and b on reference line okay so here i complete this problem 
okay so here i conclude this lecture now in upcoming lectures we solve the problem of circular and square plane thank you